Welcome everybody to the Japan Bouldering Cup of 2023. This is the highest elite competition of all of climbing because Japan is like the powerhouse of the climbing world. And they often do huge podium suites at international competitions. So this is probably the highest elite level of climbing, especially in bouldering, you will ever see internationally. This is Kip from Bouldering Highlights. I'll be bringing you some of the best moments of this competition in the women's finals. We will also do some analysis along the way. Our first climber is Melody, and Melody is a very young climber. I think she, they mentioned that she just came out of, of high school, and this is women's one. This competition is extremely important because it determines who will go into the IFSC circuit, the World Cup circuit, and especially this year, because 2023 is the groundwork for the Olympic year. So 2023 will also have the qualifiers of the Olympics. So those who qualify to the World Cup circuit, the IFSC International World Cup circuit, will be able to go into the Olympic qualifiers. But before that, they have to do well in this competition. So this is a crucial, crucial, critical point for all new and up-and-coming climbers who want to break in into the international circuit. Because only Japan can only send very very, very few people into the international circuit, especially for Olympic qualifiers. So they have to prove themselves right here. The undercling jug doesn't look that bad, but it's kind of like voluminous. They actually stack two like big jugs together so that you can't really pinch on a thin jug. You actually have to grab this thick thing. Um, otherwise, you might not be able to kind of hold it. And I'm pretty sure that volume on the left isn't the best. It wasn't the most. Um, you know, a more favorable angle as well. So, oh, that was close. Yeah. I really like how she swings out first before she comes in. She just needs to find a way to kind of stick it, maybe soften the landing. And that's the thing with all these coordination climbs. You know, you can do the wind up, you can do everything right, but you need to stick a nice soft landing and. Oh. You have the hand grip, you have the hip position, you have the wind up, you have the oh, beautiful landing and she used the opposition back on the previous volume to come up. Let's see if she can figure out the top. <laughs> So let's see if she can figure it out. Oh yes, beautiful left toe compare to seal the deal. Now the lady of the hour, she made a huge storm in 2022. I Mori, she beat Yanya Gambret twice in the lead competition. She took gold in the combined format at Morikawa, uh, coming first in the bowl round as well. So her bouldering is extremely good as well, and you know you can't underestimate her. She does seem to be missing a little bit of that um, 3D factor. So then maybe we can do a little bit of a short comparison. You can see Melody coming out, stepping a little bit outside before landing the hole. Whereas I, Mori, steps in a little bit too close. And this is a very, very crucial, crucial detail. I want you to watch the foot hole on what Melody does. So her foot lands actually toes pointing out. This is a very, very interesting uh, point to make. Whereas Aimori has her feet pointing slightly in. This makes her hips move too far into the wall too quickly. So her arc path is a little bit almost like this coming out. Because by the time her left foot is here, she's almost having to um, you know, kind of like deal with the final position and the last hole, um, you know, coming out. So you can see she's moving up. It's already too close to the wall. And she that's why she can't hold and can't stick the movement. Whereas we look at Melody here, she's actually moving, still moving into the wall right until the final position. So she moves out a little bit more than I, Mori. She steps out so that her hips are not completely in the wall right yet and then she's able to cross her foot and then at the final position she meets the wall so her arc looks a little bit more a little bit more like this her arc looks a little bit more coming into the wall throughout the motion 
She only has 5 seconds left to make something work. Can the world champion do it? What's up, Ito? Everybody's favorite Japanese competitor. She's actually very experienced for being so young. I think she's only about 20 years old this year, or 19 years old this year. But she's been in IFSC competitions quite regularly since she was about 16. Um, and she's been on fire lately uh, in within the national training system. And let's see how she does. Oh, Flash! Flash, the first part. Let's see if she can figure out the top. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. I'm not sure if she knows. She knows! She knows! Beautiful. That was so good. Um, that was just picture perfect. Wow, what a great move by Futaba Ito. A flash at a very droppable, high-risk boulder. Let's see this again. Uh, wow. Oh, that's super interesting. That's so interesting because she actually kicks out a little bit, like exaggerates the kick out. And that's what you kind of have to do in like, these coordination climbs, but she really exaggerates it a little bit more than I would think you would need to. She hangs out and then she creates this big arc to go in, that's amazing. We now have Miho Nonaka. She's a silver medalist at the Olympics, a clear veteran in this, uh, you know, in this competition scene. This could be one of her last years. But let's see what everybody's favorite redhead Japanese can do. <laughs> and she just makes it look so, so easy. Great style, great finesse by Miho Nonaka. Oh, and Gamba Miho. Oh, she makes it look so easy. Let's see if she finds out. Oh, of course. Of course she tops it second try at least. Well done, Miho Nanaka. So I like this kind of start. This is quite a like laid back heel hook start. It's uh, one of my favorite kind of moves in climbing as well. This left hole seems a little bit you know, a little bit far away, but I think it's it's manageable because you have that heel to, to move you into position. Um, let's see if she can figure out how to reach the zone. Oh, and nice, we can get a better look at the footholds we're working with. It's really not much, and she's really standing at the tip edge of the foothold, not even at the good part of the foothold. And I believe that yellow hole that is like underneath supporting that pink hole is very slippery and dual text. So this is not an easy climb. But wow, she's just balancing just on one foot. Uh, beautiful, beautiful technique there. She's using the strong part of her toe. Oh, she goes a bit too quick there. Maybe she just kind of lost balance halfway. Oh, she's kind of almost crimping a little bit of like the screw hole on that 360 volume. I, I'm not sure if you saw that. Yes, she makes it. Okay, this is kind of like a press move. Yeah, oh, bro, this is my favorite move. I don't know what you call it. This is like my favorite, like a push pull move, you know? This, this is like such a cool thing. I, I love that kind of move. Um, I'm more of a pressy, pushy kind of guy rather than a crimpy guy. Let me know it down in the comment section. Are you a crimp guy? Are you a slover guy? Are you a pushy, pulley guy? Let me know. I'm already just, let's see what you got. By the way, I Mori is I think uh, means like forest love or love of the forest. So I is like uh, love yeah, in general sense of the term. Uh, Mori is usually referred to as like the woods or the forest. Um, so yeah, I think it's quite a nice name. You know, love of the forest or love for forest. I'm not sure which one that is. Oh, she did a foot swap on the pink hole. Oh wow. I, I can't believe she could do that, but I don't think that falls really good. Oh, we get a good glimpse of it. She's using... Oh, what kind of shoes is she using, dude? Oh, beautiful foot swap. Oh, what's she doing? I think she's kind of unbalanced here. I think she... She doesn't seem to be able to kind of read this well. Uh, she's thinking of moving back. She's actually trying to leverage every single bit of that hold. <laughs> Even the parts she's not supposed to hold. I have to mash her feet here. With the unbalanced position. Oh my goodness, she's insane. Anybody would kind of bound off from there. Oh, I'm just glad she's stuck there. Tsubarashi. 
great. Otawa Ito has a really good chance to compete very well in the IFSC competitions. She made it to a couple of finals uh, last year. Not super consistent, but she was there. She very regularly made semi-finals. Um, but she, I don't think she won the gold yet. Um, so this, if this, if this any year could be her year, it might be this year. But she has a lot of tough competition ahead of her. She's a bouldering specialist, not super great in lead. So she needs to do well. Oh, she's standing up really nice and tall here. Okay, that's oh, wow, that right foot is doesn't seem good. I think she's just going to go direct. Wow, okay. That's, that almost seems like so effortless for her. Okay, and let's see how she tackles this. She's, oh, she goes low first, we go going left. Oh, super easy. Wow, another flash. You are Miho and Anaka right now. You've got to be, you have lots of questions running through your head. She's even trying something new, fresh, putting her right foot there, trying to get extra length to the left, but I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, actually it does! This approach kind of helps her give, her give her confidence to go to the left. Oh, and yeah, well, well done Miho Naka. This is great. Oh. Does she have time to get back on and finish it now that she's gained confidence here? I do not know. We need to see. Um, but I think she definitely will go back to this beta again with the right foot. I think she just needs to be a little bit more patient with the balance across. Okay, she makes it work very really nice. She doesn't consider solving feet like I am worried. She's eyeing up the hold. Only 7 seconds left. Can she stick it? Come on! Oh, so close. This this seems like a really really powerful boulder. Um, quite a long traverse as well. And with these new holes, these are the new cheetah uh, riverside holes. Um, they are kind of like stackable holes. So like some of them are hold volume holes. They are volume slash holes. Um, this one looks a little bit difficult because this one has the undercling uh, on a slopey hold. Oh. Ooh, could be a little bit slopey. <laughs> Let's see if she can. Figure it out. Oh, fantastic! She, can... she holds it one hand, kicks the wall, and kicks back to the volume. Uh, that's that's amazing. I don't know what to say to that. Going onto this pocket here makes it look easy. There's lots of big moves here. Slopey left hand. How, how is she going to catch the right? Come on! Oh, that is tough. There is some friction in the, within the insides of it, but it might be difficult. And she does it again. Wow, it's just like magic. Almost like a ballerina. Reminds me a little bit of Yanya Gavret. She does, she's able to reach this, but I see she's this weird. Oh, okay. Okay. She's going to try to go foot first. I'm not sure where her right foot so goes to go. She's kind of tiring out. She doesn't have much time left. She tries to go for this insane heel. Um, let's see if she can fit her heel across. She abandons. All those and he tries to go campus again, but I don't think she has the momentum. I'm worried out now. It's women's tree. She doesn't really have much going on. She needs to be able to top these two, oh. and she. I don't think she gets gold anymore. So she needed to be able to top these two in first goal. That's called a flash. Um, but now she's kind of in survival mode. She's kind of playing for just any podium, like bronze or silver. She needs to be able to top women's three and women's four. Uh, to be able to stay in some medal of contention uh, but I think this is not a taller for Ayamori this is not her style this is not something that she's great with 10 seconds left on the clock she's touching it but she doesn't seem to be able to catch onto it very well 4 seconds this is the last attempt can she make the zone the zone's a bit too far away and there's too much of a taller for Ayamori Futaba Yutu is on fire right now with 2 flashes so let's see if she can figure out women's tree. Does a nice wind up, double catch. Beautiful, wow, that's so cool. She's getting really good at coordination class. This is really surprising. This is really, really cool to see. Um, admittedly, these problems are quite on a powerful side. Then maybe it's kind of suited up by Ito. She tries to right foot on the dual text. Oh, strong, so strong. She's trying to hang in there. Come on. Ali! Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, three flashes on one of the hardest boulders of all time at any level. 
amazing. Well done for Tama Iso. That boulder almost makes it seem like she said it herself. Wow. Love, love this huge wind up. A little, again, deliberately moving out before coming in. Focusing on the final position of two hands. Tries to go right first, but then opts out for a more traditional. Oh, look at that power she generates with her hips. That's insane. She's so strong. I think she could be peaking right now. Miho no Naka now tackles women's tree and she needs to top on the women's four as well. Oh, makes it look so smooth, so easy. Is that a full over there? Oh, there's a full on the wall. Wow, she's going very dynamic to this pocket here. Um, wow, just making it look super smooth. Her hair matches the aesthetic of the whole. Oh, she looks as if she climbed this many, many times before. Beautiful control crossing the right foot. A little bit of a heel action over there. She tries to go right foot first, but opts otherwise. Oh my goodness, she's so strong. Well done, Miho and Naka. Final boulder of Japan Cup 2023. This is very aesthetically looking boulder. I like the idea of it. Um, I'm not sure how these guys would start because there's like a three points on the right volume and one point on the left. Not sure. Oh, okay. Looks like Melody's trying to interpret this as a face out boulder. I've tried many of these in Singapore and they are really fun but I couldn't manage to do them because they're really tough. Because the one thing that you really need to do is, yeah, so one thing you need to do is kind of press up and kind of eventually you need to rotate and face the wall. E eventually you have to, you can't just stick outside and having to face the wall always usually kind of involves some kind of violent movement that you need to kind of control your swing. So I always found it really tough. Okay, she manages to find a way to start a little bit normally. This is quite an overhang wall. Actually, it's a very overhang wall. This is like a 40 degree overhang. It's as steep as your moon boards and your kilter boards at the uh, default um, angles. And she's able to span across. I think you're meant to be able to talk first. Um, but yeah, it looks like her span is good enough. Beautiful. Let's see if she can kind of flip this right hand. Yes, yeah, she manages to. It looks like it's a little bit of a chip on the undercling there. Oh, this is really awkward. Oh, she's even talking with her right, trying to make space for her feet with her right hand, but can't seem to find a position. Tries to swap feet, but ah oh, no, she's trying to stop feet there. Kind of rotates the body too violently. We get quite a nice angle here of Melody. Come on, Melody. Let's go. Lots more confident to this undercling. Let's look at her footwork. She's trying to swap feet and she does finally. With her weight a little bit more to the right, she's able to unlock that position. Looks like she is going to top this boulder. She needs to kind of oh, flip the left undercling. Come on, Melody. Come on. No. Now, if anybody can top this boulder, it should be Ayamori. This should be roughly her style. She might find the bottom section a little bit tricky, I think. Uh, because she might not be able to reach that left side of the volume or span it easily. Already she's having trouble getting height on. Okay, she goes left hand to that. I think ideally you kind of want your right hand there. She, I don't know what she's crimping with the right hand. I don't know what she's trying to do. She's trying to twist back in. Okay, coming back down. Um, her left hand is in a really precarious spot. I think she wants to kind of match this. Yes, this is what she wants to do. Okay, she's trying to go for this with right hand cream because she knows she needs to reach left. Oh, she's twisting all sorts of positions, but I don't think she's in opposition position with the right hand. That left... I don't, that's not even a cream, that's like a little jib for your foot. This man for your foot, not for your, for your hands in that position. Brilliant, she swaps feet. She goes for the left toe hook. Come on, Aimori. Come on. Okay, she managed to get across. Um, she needs to find a balanced position. Snaps the volume with her right hand. Oh, she finds a Neva. Of course, the lead climber finds a Neva in places you don't normally expect. Oh, beautiful right foot across, going to the zone. She's actually piano matching with the zone. I think that crib is kind of tough. She steps across with her left. Oh, I'm worried. Come on, there we go. I'm for Futaba Iso. Oh, I like this camera angle. She's going for the uh, face out crowd kind of position. Looks like she's quite comfortable here. She knows what she's doing. 
Oh, her face really getting into the hole, kissing the volume. She has to handle this violent swing. She makes it look so easy. Oh my goodness, her feet just knows where to go. Click everything clicks for her. Come on, not. Come on, Futaba. She doesn't find a knee, but I'm already does. She's thinking going left straight away. Yeah, she does. She's trying to. Oh, come on. Piano measures the undercling. Okay, it looks like she's getting to a good position now, and I think she's able to do this. We will see another flash for Futaba Ito. Four flashes in a row, flashing everything. Come on, this top move is a bit tricky. Yeah, she grabs it, adjusts her feet, and. Well done, Futaba Ito. Four flashes. What a way to come back. She's AB. She's been like under the shadows of 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 all so many climbers behind her from with Mio Nakaka, from um, Akio Noguchi. She's been, always been under the shadows, but this time this is could be her year to be in the spotlight of Japan leading the women's team. Let's go, Futaba Ito. Let's go, Ale Ale. Gamba Gamba. The last climber is up, Miho Naka. This is for. And all for glory, and this is for possible finish in the podium. Uh, the other climbers didn't do so well um, in the previous boulders. Uh, they couldn't really figure out this boulder as well. Pretty sure Miho Nonaka can find a way. She handles the swing not as smoothly as Futaba Iso, but she gets it done. Um, let's see if she can transition here. It should be no problem for Miho Nonaka. She's super experienced. She does find a little bit of a knee bar, a little bit of a rest. Well done, Miho. At this point, the only thing she needs to do is to decide is she going up left first, is she going to swap feet or is she going to be able to get her right foot high. I think she's kind of contemplating on the underclick first, adjusting her feet. Nope, she's actually using beautiful drop knee, using the right foot beta, going across. Oh, I love the way she's doing this. Come on, Nonohana Miho. Come on, Miho. I have the top. She has enough power to do this and she grabs it. Beautifully. Come on, Miho Naraka. Let's go, let's go. And the competition is strong. And that's it for the women's finals of the Japan Bouldering Cup 2023. Futaba Ito flashing all four boulders. And I'll see you in the next one. Hit subscribe. Goodbye. Go climb.